Everyone knows that the LS3 is the best factory manifold ever made. The problem is we can't take that rec port LS3 goodness and apply it to a cathedral port motor. Or can we? Using the adapters that guys put LSA blowers on cathedral port applications, we can also install an LS3 intake on a cathedral port motor. You know, get all that rec port goodness. So what happens? Let's find out. And as an added bonus, I also tested the Dorman truck intake versus the factory truck intake. I also threw in a Trailblazer SS. On top of that, I also threw in a rec port versus cathedral port cam test. Lots to get to. Let's find in out. In this video, we ran a six liter LS test motor. Now this test motor featured 799 heads, factory, untouched heads, just a valve spring upgrade. It also featured a comp 54-459-11 cathedral port camshaft. I'll go ahead and put the specs up here. Using that test motor, long tube headers, Holly HP management system, I ran the following test. We compared a factory LS2 intake to a factory LS3 intake using adapters. We also compared a factory early truck intake to the Dorman replacement truck intake. I then compared those two to the factory Trailblazer SS intake. I then compared the factory Trailblazer SS intake with that cathedral port cam to the Trailblazer SS with a rec port cam. That's a lot of stuff. We better get going. Our first test was to compare the factory truck, the early truck, not the TBS, the factory truck intake to the Dorman truck intake manifold. There's a lot of questions about this particular intake manifold, and a lot of guys are thinking that that Dorman intake is probably an upgrade for the factory truck. Unfortunately, this test kind of shows that that's not the case. Unlike the other Dorman manifolds, it seemed to work fairly well, especially the Dorman LS2. That's a really good combination. Makes about the same power as a factory Trailblazer SS intake, but it fits in areas where the Trailblazer SS does not fit. So that's a good intake manifold. Unfortunately, this comparison on our six liter, comparing the factory early truck to the Dorman truck manifold, doesn't put it in very good light. So our test motor was a six liter LY6 short block. It had a uh, factory 799 cathedral port heads on it. It had a comp 54-459-11 camshaft, long tube headers, and a Holly XFI or XFI, Holly HP management system. So we had everything dialed in for each one of the combinations. We ran all of this on 91 octane because this combination will easily run on 91 octane. We can maximize the air fuel and timing to make the maximum amount of power. Equipped with that combination and the factory early truck intake and factory early truck throttle body, this combination produced 508 horsepower and 480 foot pounds of torque. It was a good combination, good six liter. Now here's what happened after we replaced the factory truck intake with the Dorman truck intake manifold. Dorman truck intake is in red. And as you can see, it kind of made a little bit less power everywhere compared to the factory truck manifold. So the Dorman truck intake, at least from this test shows that maybe not a great combination and definitely not an upgrade from the factory truck and definitely not equal to the Trailblazer SS. So now let's take a look at a couple of other manifolds that we tested on our six liter. This is a test I get an awful lot of questions about and that's using what is probably the best factory LS intake ever made, in my opinion, the LS3 intake. Now, obviously, that's for a rec port application, but what a lot of guys do, because there are adapters available to adapt from a rec port to a cathedral port application, because guys use that to put the LSA blowers on a cathedral port headed combination, and that works really well. So everyone thinks, dude, I'm going to put an LS3 intake manifold on here. Since it's the best intake ever made, I'm going to put it on a cathedral port application. That's going to be nothing but a home run. And that's exactly what I thought when I ran this test. I thought this is going to be really cool. Back in the day, this is going to be a good combination. I really like the LS3 manifold. Let's see how it does on a cathedral application with these adapters. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, it doesn't work. So what we did was compare this 
This is again is our six liter LY6 short block with a comp 54 459 11 camshaft, 799 cathedral port heads, you know, springs on it. This combination had for this test had a factory LS2 intake and a 92 millimeter throttle body, as always, long tube headers and the Holly HP management system. So this thing, we optimized this combination with the LS2 intake, and it produced 516 horsepower and 472 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, 472 foot-pounds. So this is what happened after we installed the adapters. These were from, I think, Dirty Dingo, but there's a couple of guys that make them. So we installed the adapters that allow us to put a rec port intake manifold, the factory LS3 intake, on a cathedral port application. So this is what happened when we put the LS3 intake on with adapters and the same 92 millimeter throttle body. Red is the LS3 intake. And oddly enough, on this combination, the LS3 made more power down low all the way up to our <laughs> usual crossover point of 5250, but then made less power than the LS2 intake manifold. And I think that this is a function of the adapters. I, I don't think that the adapters allow that LS3 intake manifold to do what we know it can do. Now, I think down low, it was showing what we kind of would expect with an LS3 intake. Oddly, or interestingly enough, I think if we had an LS3 manifold and it could actually work and run the way that it does on an LS3 application, an LS3 manifold would make more power than an LS2 manifold, and I, and I think more power than any of the other cathedral port manifolds if we could get the port match set up. So if we had an LS3 manifold that was set up with a cathedral port end, I, I think that we would see a, a better intake manifold. But unfortunately, the adapters do not allow it to do that. So, <laughs> so everybody knows, LS3 manifold, good. LS3 manifold on a cathedral port application with adapters, not good. But the adapters do work well to put the LSA blower on it. After comparing the LS2 intake to the LS3 with the adapters on it, we step things up. Uh, this is our LS2 combination. 516 horsepower, 500 or 472 foot-pounds of torque, we stepped up to the factory Trailblazer SS, because actually the GM LS2 is not a good intake manifold. It's not a good combination. The uh, truck intake works pretty well. The LS2 is okay. The Trailblazer SS and the LS6 intake are really the best factory GM intake manifolds for the cathedral port stuff. So let's take a look and see. This is our Trailblazer SS. It only, only changes the intake manifold. Both of them use the same 92 millimeter throttle body. Equipped with our Trailblazer SS intake manifold, our six liter peaked out at 527 horsepower and 489 foot pounds of torque. Yeah, so this thing did good. And you can see the Trailblazer SS was basically better than the LS2 manifold. Uh, almost from start to finish, a little bit of a difference down there at 3,000 RPM, but from 32 or 3,300 all the way out, more peak power, more peak torque. Uh, you know, the Trailblazer SS is just a really good intake manifold. And for those guys that are interested, I didn't show the test here because we didn't have one, unfortunately, but the Dorman LS2 intake manifold is basically the equivalent of the Trailblazer SS. And it makes the same, almost an identical power curve to the Trailblazer SS. It's just low like the factory LS1, LS2, uh, LS6 intake manifolds. It just fits in more spots. Unfortunately, I've heard that the Dorman stuff is becoming more and more expensive, maybe because I did too many stories <laughs> telling everybody how great it was. But in any case, the Trailblazer SS, good factory intake manifold, and the Dorman uh, Trailblazer SS also works. But I wanted to show you both of these intake manifolds were run with the same camshaft, and that was a Comp 54-459-11 camshaft. And these are cathedral port heads. That's a cathedral port cam, so obviously it's a good match. <laughs> but here's what happened when we ran the Comp 469 camshaft. And I'll go up and put the specs up on the 469 cam as well so you can see the difference. But basically, it's a rec port cam. So the big difference is that it has a lot more exhaust duration, which is kind of typical of a rec port cam. So here's what happens when we install the rec port cam on the cathedral port application. And this is what it does almost every time that we test it on any combination. So the red now is the 469 cam. The green is the 459 cam. As a matter of fact, if you like, I can get rid of that GM LS2 intake. So make it so it's not confusing. But as you can see, the difference between the 469 and the 459 cam, a cathedral port and a rec port uh, camshaft, 
is that the Recport camshaft made a little less power down low and a little more power at the top, but everywhere else in the middle, the two camshafts were identical. <laughs> so this should tell you once again, should illustrate the fact that a rec port cam and a cathedral port cam are not really very different. And for all the guys now jumping up and down and commenting and raging on their keyboard telling me, well, yeah, but what if you did this test with a, a set of LS3 heads, the results would be identical. It would be the same thing. The two cams would make exactly the same power curve. It's just that the air quote rec port cam would make more power on the top and less power down low, even with a rec port head, because that's what they do because camshafts are camshafts. <laughs> so here's a good test, lots of intake manifolds, quick cam test on our six liter. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay guys, what did you think about all those tests? Personally, I was a little disappointed in the LS3 intake test. And I, I had high hopes. Using those adapters, I was hoping we could get everything that the LS3 intake had to offer on a cathedral port application. Unfortunately, the adapters kind of get in the way and screw things up. Now, they work well putting an LSA blower on it, short runners, lots of boost, it kind of gets past the whole adapter thing. But on a real intake with long runners, not so much. Now, what about the truck intake? I had high hopes again for the Dorman truck intake, but as it turned out on this test, it didn't seem to do as well as the factory truck intake. And neither one of them obviously were anywhere near as good as that Trailblazer S, which the Trailblazer SS, which always does well. Now, the other thing I like is, once again, showing what the difference is between a rec port cam and a cathedral port cam, and as we see through 90% of the curve, there's no difference. That camshaft works well with either head, and had we run this test on a rec port headed motor, the results would be the same. I'm Richard Holder, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. More tests coming up.